Where old my mate is trying to kill me. I know he is. That is deathly quiet. There is no wind. No sound at all apart from pine cones dropping. That's quite eerie. All alone. It's wild. So just off up to Pines, yesterday the official start to the new blue and green route has now officially opened. I know I've been on there a few times like a naughty schoolboy, but uh, I'm going to have a ride around along with everybody else and uh, enjoy it without fear of being told off. Then maybe a ride over to the bike park, we'll see, but I just need to stretch my legs. Let's get up to the trails and officially have a look at the new blue route. So there we go, that's where we start, just at the side of Pine Cycles. At the minute it's a combined green and blue. And then in a minute when we get around the corner, the blue will go off to the right and the green will carry on. I'm hoping they've sorted out some of the uh, loose corners and stuff that they got before it was officially opened. And hopefully a bit of traffic start and bed it in. We'll see. We'll just have a nice steady ride down without being told off. There we go, just over to the right. Still looks pretty loose to me. few thousand people riding it to get it bedded in a bit. too bad though. Give it a couple of months, this bit will be rapid. And then just down at the end they've put in this, it's like a little bit of a stegosaurus at Canic Chase. I'll definitely slow you down because that's tight. And then back on the fire road and turn right. A lot of work gone into this behind the scenes. I think they've been planning this part of the route for about four years. We finally got the, uh, the go-ahead earlier this year and the work started in earnest. Uh, glad to see they've got it open before the kids break up from school at the end of this week or next week. But it has made the start of the blue really good because there's some nice little loops that you can create picking up some of the uh, good bits of the red route as well. So instead of going up the rock garden to the left on the red, put this bit of a fire road and then we'll go right in a minute and then you're into another new section. I'm not going to do the whole route, those of you that have watched the channel would have seen all of this before anyway. Minus the fences to stop people like me coming through. Not just me, loads of people. Testing purposes, obviously.
in my defence, I've probably drummed up some trade for pines and the trails. So people now know what to expect when they come. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. These berms are still really, really loose. They're going to catch a few people out until all that loose stuff beds in without shadow of a doubt to my front end nearly washed down and I know where I'm going right onto another long climb now shared green and blue again I'm not going to video it all but the next bit runs along the side of Death Valley brings it out at the top onto the nice swoopy bit down to where the blue originally used to start that's something I've not considered until somebody just come headlong towards me coming down the green which I guess I'm quite entitled to do and is far more than this long drag up to the top of the green before we get to the next bit of blue so just something to be aware of people will be uh, speeding towards you at quite some speed if they're coming that way those that know the trails reasonably well there's lots of little cut throughs and extra bits you can cut through all over the place around here get you onto some of the good bits of the red and some of the off-piece stuff so well worth having a, an explore I do like this next bit going to need to bed in fully so it's still really loose in places it's a nice addition to the blue and it's better than some of the bits on the red not all of them good bit of fun see this first weekend of opening all the dads and mums picking bits of white gravel out the kids knees as they wash out some of these corners so if you're coming for the first time just be careful why it's loose but yeah really good addition to the blue trail and the trails in general done a cracking job so well done to all the team at Sherwood Forest Sherwood Pines great job Like I say, I'm not going to video the rest of the blue route. That is on another video, which I'll drop either a link in the comments below or a link up at the top of the screen if I remember when I put this together. Um, so you can check out the whole trail if you want and some of the other videos I've done on the blue and the green and in fact all the trails. So we'll leave this one just here and then I'm off. Over up to the bike park, I think, for a bit of a session up there. So thanks for watching this one. Hope it's been informative. If you've not already, like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.